guys? I'm here today with a live reaction to One Punch Man Season 2, Episode 4, guys. Yo, I'm super hyped for this episode, man. And also, guys, if you look behind me, I got a green screen, so that's pretty sick. Don't worry, I'll sh like I'll find a way to put it somewhere where you guys can still see the beautiful One Piece posters and all of that. But yeah, I got a green screen for gameplays and all of that. So, you know, can't wait, can't wait to do more, you know, gameplay content and whatnot. But you know what? We're here with One Punch Man, episode four and last episode, yo. How the f- He just, like, Tama just hit him with a chopstick. A chopstick and he knocked out. But you know, the thing is, what it looks like to me is, for example, Garo, like, he's always getting strong. Like, every time he fights someone, like, he becomes stronger from that encounterment. So, maybe if he just keeps fighting, and you know, from what I've been told, he's S-class level. I mean, we know Saitama is S-class level as well. He should honestly be number one, if you ask me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the number one S-classes are really good. But you know what? Let's jump right into this, guys. It's What's this paper doing here? Uh, what is this? I plunge the world into darkness. Oh! to win bro he was rooting for the villains the monsters I mean cuz just cuz you're a monster doesn't mean you're a villain there's probably some good monsters mmm He's going with this. He always just thought they were cooler, and it's like, why are they always losing? Ah, that's kind of interesting to see how, you know, okay, how he looks at it, how he looks like, why he calls himself a monster, or, you know, why he's doing what he's doing, because. Wow, they just put him by the trash? You see his leg, how messed up it was? Like... Wow, he doesn't even remember? Wow. That's a low blow. Yo, I wanted him to remember and chase after Saitama. <laughs> That's a freaking low blow, yo. <laughs> he doesn't even remember that shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, and it's like, I mean, I was like, like, I don't know. That was, I mean, last episode's animation was pretty good as well. I just like to mention that. Because you see, it's not even like it's bad. It's just, it doesn't compare to the first season. Of course, it will never compare to the first. I mean, who knows? I'm, I'm down for, you know, like, to be shocked. But, you know, I love the way the story's going. And just to see them even going in with the animation, like, to the best of their, you know, power. I freaking love it, man. Respect. JC Staff, yo. Another round of applause, yo. I still can't believe Tornado is the, is like, why do I keep saying this? I just can't believe it. Because just the way she acts and whatnot, like a brat. And, but then again, Fubuki also acts like a brat to an extent. If you look at what she was doing, you know, threatening B-class hurls and stuff, that's kind of bratty behavior. You know, I just want to do this when I'm listening to this opening. Like, rock out. <laughs> okay. Now they're starting to realize the seriousness in this. Oh, Metal Bat. Bro! 
He's gonna kick King's ass! <laughs> Bro, he's gonna kick his ass, yo! It's good he declined because he, bro, he's not even strong. He will get destroyed by Garo. I like Metal Bat. I love this, like, design that they give. Like, I love, like, Knuckles. I don't know what you call this type of design. Like, Knuckles has it from, you know, Hunter x Hunter, um, Mob Psycho 100 as well. I guess you call it the delinquent look? I don't know. Yeah, like, you see his hairstyle and all of that? I love it. <laughs> Look at this guy's lips, yo. They're so dry. <laughs> Is that serious? Is that an iPhone? Yeah, she doesn't understand, yo. <laughs> oh, it's just some monsters. Okay, man, I know what to do, yo. This is my... Yo, look at this monster! Whoa! He's talking business. Oh yeah! Yes! Yes! I'm kinda hyped for this, like the, the, the tournament. Uh style. Just right, uh what is this again? Mixed martial arts? <laughs> Karate? Oh no, I think this guy's just trying to like cheat! Always know there's always shady people and stuff like this. He <laughs> he's doing it as we speak. Moomin Rider, that's my guy, yo. I love this dude. And the money, is it the money? Oh, and that's exactly what we're doing.
Whoa! What? Fr wow. That wouldn't make sense. I was thinking, first person I thought of was Garo. I like this kid and Garo when they talk. Like, yeah, look, see, I like this moment. When you're talking and stuff. Bro, it is crazy how Saitama knocked this dude out and he doesn't even know, like, his deed, what he just did. Damn. Bro, don't worry. No, bro, I, that's what he's concerned about? That's what he was concerned about, that Saitama's inexperienced. I mean, he is still inexperienced with the fighting styles and whatnot. But he won't die to these guys. Exactly, this guy's talking. Sharanko really fought Garo. Exactly, like, shut up, man. Bro, the music? <laughs> We'll see, yo. I, I don't like, I'm not with the talking. Let's do it. Let's, you know, fight. Oh, he got them. I was gonna say, I was, I was looking, I was like, wait, is he fighting the monsters and eating? Look, the monsters are still moving. He messed them up, yo. Look at all the monster blood. Senpai. Who? Not Garo, I'm obviously, right? So I'm trying to think. Oh, just a random monster. Monster. Sensei Senpai. <laughs> It's gonna knock them out? Uh oh. Look at this! It's just like random monsters!
<laughs> Bro! <laughs> I want to see some, you know, fighting. I don't want to see the S-Class heroes anymore. I want to see the other ranks. How's the S-Class though? Oh, wow. This, but this isn't kind of fair, because look, if Metal Bat is fighting these monsters, right? And then it's like G Garo pops up, and he's exhausted from fighting these strong demon level monsters. How is that fair? That's not fair. <laughs> Every time I see centipedes, I think of Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Look, see? He's having trouble fighting these guys? Look at that, he can't do it. Look at that. Genos! Saitama! Someone come! Wait! I think I was sleeping on Metal Bat, yo! Yep, I was! Cause I was looking, I was like, wait, he's S-Class, why is he getting pummeled like this? So hard his shell broke. <laughs> Look at how clean he looks, man. But now Garo's gonna come. That was gonna be important, yo, I could tell. That has to be the worst. <laughs> the disasters? It's happening now? Look at that! Wow! Yeah, take them and leave. Look at his- Whoa! He looks like an old guy.
Yeah, look at that. He's so strong that even with Metal Bat fighting it. Alright, we need more S-Class heroes. So you have to hit his face, that's his weakness? How are these guys running that fast? Yo, how are they really running that fast? Yeah, that's true, because it's like, these are like some crazy monsters. Wait, doesn't this mean the tournament doesn't proceed? Right? Doesn't that mean that? Because everyone's, you know, evacuating. How are you going to have a tournament if everyone... Oh. You see that? He's not even, what's it called? Girl, this is not the time, man! Bro, this is not the time! They're destroying the city! Wow. We need more hurdles right now. Wow, the episode ended? Yo, yo, no, man. No. Well, I didn't even feel it was coming to a conclusion. That's how good it was. I had me on the edge of the seat the whole time looking at the situation like, yo, monsters after monsters, Metal Bat, now Garo, and then also wondering about what's going on with Saitama with this tournament. But, you know, just giving that little, like, flashback of Garo, like, as his childhood and how he was just always, like, Oh man, the heroes always win. What about the monsters? They have ambitions too. It's like, I can understand where he was coming from because it's like, you have the heroes and you can look at them like this as the popular people. And then you have the monsters who are like the unpopular because no one really likes them. You know, no one cares for them. No one really wants to see them winning. And it's kind of sad. You, got, you know, he has a heart. He felt for them. He felt bad for them that they were always losing, that they were always getting defeated, that no one ever cared for them or were rooting for them. And, he, you know, just the fact that they made the monsters like this, like, oh, like they didn't have ambitions or goals in life or anything like that. And that's why he always had this thought in mind, like, you know what? I'm gonna beat these heroes, I wanna be the, you know, like, I'm a monster, I'm not a, you know, human kind of thing going on. And it really adds to him, cause it's like, at first I was just like, why is he doing this? And then now seeing the reason to why he's doing it, although it's not like some super crazy reason, like, oh, you know, something happened along the lines, it's still, you know. Who's this? So the tournament still proceeds? I guess since it's happening in City S, they're like, it's not here, so we can still fight. So we can still do our thing, because it's not happening over here. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm still happy, because that means next episode, we're going to get Metal Bat, Garo, and Centipede action. And then we're going to get Saitama in the tournament, so that's like a plus. Like, that's a, like a double plus right there. So, you know what? Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you made it to the end, you're amazing, yo. Peace